I'm H. Brown, it's the SF Bill Blog. It is July the 17th, 2024. Uh, big uh, deal, uh, uh, Aaron Peskin, uh, uh, Ronan, Hillary Ronan resigned as the chair of the uh, uh, Rules Committee yesterday because uh, Peskin overruled her and brought back a police retirement program that's going to give us a bunch of 30-year uh, uh, cops uh, 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 and give them $300,000 a, a year to stay another five years. Uh, I happened to run into a couple of guys who are volunteers who are retired cops. Now, they're doing this for free. Uh, would they rather uh, go back on the force and get 30000 No, Not today, I wouldn't. No, How I long have you been retired? Uh, seven years now. Really? Yeah, I, I got hired back a year ago. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're hired, hired back as an... Um, uh, as a uh, civilian ambassador. But you don't get cop money. No. No. No, no, no. You get stipend shit. Stipends, you get gas yeah. money. Yep. Yeah. The uh, 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 the big thing I got a buddy uh, on the police commission named Deborah Walker, and she was a liberal uh, 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 commissioner on the Department of Building Inspections for 20 years, and then on the Arts Commission, and jumped on the Police Commission, and, and uh, now she's uh, uh, back in the cops and, and, and uh, uh, hitting everything progressive. And you know why she does it? No, I don't. Insurance. Oh, well. She's an artist. She's got no insurance. She's got no guaranteed income <laughs> and all this bullshit. Uh, uh, we're all for sale. You know? have done worse the, the, for insurance the, coverage. Uh, 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 I, I, I yelled at you because I've lived uh, at Valencia and 14th for nine years, and I've never seen a cop on foot. And, and, and I know your uh, uh, ambassadors uh, uh, of... But, but uh, why don't we get uh, foot patrols in San Francisco? Not enough cops. Yep. Can't, can't staff a foot patrol when the calls for service require the guys in a police car to run from call to call to call to call, they, and there's just nobody to walk the beat. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, I'm setting these guys up, by, by the, you know me by the way, by now. Uh, 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 we've got, uh, uh, what do you think of, uh, of uh, the number of cops we have riding deaths. Uh, we've got uh, the difference in percentages. LA has 7%, we have up to 17%. Why is that? Uh, I, I, I didn't know the percentages were that high. Yeah. I don't know, but I know cops get hurt while they're working to the point where they can't go out on the street, so they give them desk jobs. 10 for 10% to- more dangerous in LA? I couldn't compare the two. We're two totally different. How many cops would they have for foot patrol uh, if they got that 10% on the street? Gosh. 220. That, that's a lot. I like to see that many cops out on foot patrol. I, I, either of you ever man a police kiosk? No. Were you were, were you here when they well, when they had them and when Feinstein had them? In Japan, no. Japan town. No. She so had one of 16 of the missing, one of yeah. 24 of the missing, two of the gang shot him up. Yeah. I was not Cops were running. running. <laughs> I said, what are you, uh, fuck are you doing? I'm still here and I don't have a gun. <laughs> you know? And they never shot at a cop. They shot the roofs of them up to let them know it was, gang, yeah. it was gang territory. But the, uh, I'm fighting to bring that back. I, I've got... Uh, I, I, I've got a master's in special ed. I, I, I work with gangsters. I'm a behavior teacher, and uh, I'm good at it. And when, the way that you teach behavior is you uh, uh, is you teach habits. And I have, and I learned this from delinquent kids. I said, "Well, you guys are full of bad habits." I said, "What's a habit?" And they said, "Something you do without thinking." So I said, "Oh, great." Then I looked it up, and it's, uh, if you repeat the same thing in the same situation 14 times, the 15th time it becomes a habit, and you don't get no credit for it. You do it without thinking. And it's easier to create a, a series of good habits than it is to get rid of bad habits. You just edge the bad habits out because there ain't no room here, Charlie. I'm busy selling my, I'm not selling contraband on the street. I'm selling potato chips and, and soda out of Mr. Brown's uh, uh, classroom door here to the kids at recess because we got the whole Trail Hill schoolyard here. 
And of course, we didn't ask anybody. Mr. Brown just brought him in, put us in business. We got a, 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 a whole a, a whole monitor network here of these people who are like cops, man. And uh, uh, these halls have quieted down since Mr. Brown got here. Because what happened was, uh, the first day they called him in the principal's office and they got the baddest kid in the school. And they said, this one's yours. He said, this is first kid. That was the first kid I saw of mine. And there he was standing in front of the principal and the vice principal said, what are you going to do? I looked down and there was a, a, a post-it with a big red border. And I wrote hall monitor on it and stuck it on his chest and said, go clear the halls of our room. By the way, where's our room? You know? And then I put, I, I had started with six of them. And then I went to 15, which is the limit the district could have. And then by creating a monitor force, we had 300 volunteers to carry around clipboards and wear orange vests and write tickets. And another teacher drafted them all, uh, 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 made them all register to vote the whole school and then drafted them into jury duty. And the, kid, the, the kids that busted them and had tickets would go before a student court and uh, uh, Berkeley sent over uh, a, uh, uh, a Nobel Prize winner to watch his uh, work once. We were amazing. Second year, after the second year, they dumped my contract because I was going around town in a pickup truck full of black kids bagging computers from law offices and, and fighting with them on everything. And the, the, the head of the school board threatened me. I said, oh, you can't fucking threaten me. I'm from the projects in St. Louis, asshole. <laughs> you know, this is nothing down here. You know what the guy's name was? Mm, Keith Jackson. Keith, Keith Jackson? Where is he? I don't know who he is. He was the president of the school board at the time when I was there. Where is he? No He's idea. in prison. Oh. Why is that? Arrange a contract, kill, and work for Norhamu Nuru. Oh, Don't you love this fucking town? This town, we gotta this love is it. true. Exactly. We'll see you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for doing what you do. H. Brown. Walt now. Fantastic. A little comp interview.